assalamu alaikum dear students uh, this is shamshad ali department of technology sarad university today we are going to learn about the proportioning of pile cap function of piles and their uses negative skin flexion down rate this is our week 6 our lecture 6 uh, fifth semester of the program of BSc civil engineering technology you can access this lecture at portal.ru.edu.pk so let's begin our today's lecture negative skin friction down rate when a fill is placed on a compressible soil deposits consolidation of the compressible material will occur when a pile is driven through or into the compressible material either before or after fill placement before consolidation is complete the soil will move downward relative to the pile this relative movement will develop skin friction between the pile and the moving soil term negative skin friction when there is some in compressible soil a loose material with the passage of time these loose material will go to in a phase of consolidation when consolidation is completed the soil move downward and this downward movement of this soil causes the skin friction which is term is the negative skin friction or down grade force here are some references according to measurement reported by bjerum et al in 1969 and buzuzuk 1977 and buzuzuk et al 1979 the negative skin friction can exceed the allowable load for pile sections Fellinius 1997 has also reported large values of major negative skin resistance and as we learn that the negative skin friction is the result of the consolidation of the loose sand of the loose soil in next slide uh, we will see that where this soil is uh, is located in how it can causes the negative skin friction the principal effect of negative skin friction is to increase the axial load in the load fixed portion of the pile there will be a sufficient increase in the axial load in the load fixed load fixed portion of the pile so moving on it may result also in increased pile settlements due to the axial shorting or and or additional point penetration of the pile under the increased axial load increase in axial load can result in the increased pile settlements there will be settlement in the piles the fill settlement may be such that a gap form between the bottom of the pile cap and the soil this will transfer the full cap weight to the piles and may change the bending stresses in the cap as well negative skin friction can produce large tension stresses when the effect is from expansive soil especially if no or insufficient gap is left between soil and pile gap and the soil expands against both the pile and the pile cap now in the picture it will be de demonstrated that how this negative skin friction and down drag forces are formed this is the pile cap basically and these are the piles in group shape pile group now this is basically the surcharge or uh, the loose sand or sorry or the surcharge and this is the soft consolidated side here 
these this portion show us the sub consolidated side this is the competent side or that side which has sufficient or more bearing capacity compared to the soft side now this side is consolidating side with the passage of time here the consolidation will occur so when the consolidation is occur the arrow shows the negative skin friction at the surface of the piles so this negative skin friction causes the bending stresses or the more stresses in the bottom of the piles here you can also see that this is the in situ reinforcement field pile these are the skin friction and penetratable side or consolidating side and this is basically the load so this down drag forces in the arrow towards downward shows the negative skin friction at the skin of the pile here you can also see the filled up side negative skin friction here natural step side so this is the friction frictional resistance and this is the point resistance this is basically the fill so the point is if there is some such kind of soil which is consolidated inside with the passage of time it will be consolidated so this can this process the consolidating of the of such kind of soft layer causes the negative skin friction and in result negative skin friction causes the increased axial loads which may cause the settlement of the pipe so moving on development of negative skin friction negative skin friction can be developed from the fall these are the causes of the negative skin friction cohesive felt placed or cohesionless solid deposits when you place a cohesive fill or a consolidated or cohesionless solid deposits a cohesionless fill placed or a compressible or cohesive deposit the opposite these two terminologies are the opposite of each other the third factor is lowering the ground water table with resulting in ground subsidence and the fourth one is the pile driving and load test operation that produce negative stresses in the upper shaft when the load is released in the pile shaft expands up these are the factors which may develop the negative skin friction now our next topic is the proportioning of pile cap how a pile cap can be proportioned so proportioning of a pile cap involves satisfying the share when there is uh, satisfaction of the share one or two way and bending requirements at applicable critical sections make the following assumption for a conventional pile cap design you must follow this assumption each pile carries an equal e, no, sorry an equal amount of the load for a concentric axial load on the cap or for n pile in any number of piles carrying a total load of q the load pp per pile is load per pile is equal to the total load divided by number of piles mean the total load will be divided with the number of piles if there is uh, four piles so the total load of the superstructure will be divided by the number of the piles this is the first assumption the second assumption will be the combined stress equation assuming a planar stress distribution is valid for a pile cap non centrally loaded or loaded with a load q and a moment is this is basically the equation this is the load this is the moment at the y direction this is moment at the x x axis basically 
So remember these two assumptions while designing a file key. The assumption that each file in a group carries an equal load may be nearly correct when the following criteria are all met. These are basically the criteria which will show you that if the assumption that each file in a group carries an equal load may be nearly correct when you follow these criteria. The pile cap is in contact with the ground. Okay, the piles are well vertical, are all well vertical. Load is applied at the center of the pile group. The pile group is symmetrical and the cap is very thick or rigid, usually about 1.8 to 2 plus meter thick for plan dimensions of 2 to 3 meter and depending on pile spacing basically. So these assumptions and following these criteria assumption that each pile in a group carries an equal load may be nearly correct when you follow these criteria. This is basically the proportioning of the pile cap. Alternative shear location, wide beam or two-way action. This is basically so here you can erect the pier of a bridge or something. This is uh, a pile group. This is the pile cap. Okay. This is the minimum. This is the length from the edge of a pier to the end of the file cap. Critical bar moment and bound weight of the slab, basically the weight of the slab. And here are the forces. So moving on. Function of pile and their uses. What is the function of a pile? We have learned previously. And their uses. In the next slide, uh, I will show you a table with the help of which you can learn the function of pile and their uses. When the soil beneath a, the level at which a footing or rock will normally be established is too weak or too compressible to provide adequate support, the loads are transferred to more suitable material at greater depth by means of piles or piers. Previously, we have learned that if there is insufficient uh, bearing capacity of the soil, then you must have to transfer the load of the superstructure to the horse strata with the help of the piles. So this is basically the main function of the pile. To transfer the load of the superstructure to the hard strata at a considerable depth. This is the main function. Now, here we have two kind of classification of piles. The first one is based on the function, and the second one is based on material and composition. Here we have some kind of piles according to the to their function. The first one is the end bearing piles. We have learned about this in the previous lecture. The second one is the friction piles, compaction piles, tension piles, and anchor piles. These are the classification of piles according to their function, according to their use. The second one is classification of piles based on materials and composition. Here we have the pile. So the first one is concrete pile. There we have pre-cost piles and cost in situ piles. We have learned about these type of piles in previous lecture. The second one is temper piles. Steel pile, then there has three types: the edge pile, the pipe pile, and the sheet pile. Composite pile, concrete and timber. 
concrete and stage bikes. So these are the function of higher in their use. So this is it for today's lecture. Inshallah, uh, we will learn in the next class the lateral earth pressure, both the active and the passive earth pressure, and then the uh, and then in another lecture we will uh, learn the ring kinds and the cooling theory about the active and passive earth pressures. So thank you so much. If you have any query, so let me know on your portal.su.edu.pk so take care and be safe